coming. I want to be invited to your Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. This looks phenomenal. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what you've done here. Like when you when you take the whole thing in, mm -hmm. it's the impact is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We don't even have food on the table yet. No, not yet, and you will. Yes. So um, the thing that I've added since we last um, saw it is that I just put a bunch of like eclectic vases. So you can just pull any vase that you have in your house. It doesn't matter if they match again, and put them on the centerpiece, and then just get some branchy like anything. This is eucalyptus, but these little bunny grasses again really work. So you can pull things that you've used elsewhere on the table, put it in the middle of the table, but ultimately people are going to arrive and you need some functional space for the turkey. Yes. So it's handy to have um, a sideboard or another table kind of off to the side just to be able to sort of pull space in the center of the table because you've got kind of like your first look yes. and then your functional dinner. Two different things. Okay, really good. Okay, so the guests have come in, they're wowed, they see the menu, they see their name plates, they're excited and then they're like, where's the food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's start talking about the side dishes we have because our, our chefs are here. I'll yeah. get you guys to put them on and explain what you uh, what you made. Well, I've got here, these are good old uh, Brussels sprouts, but they've been a uh, little fire roasted, a little bit of bacon in there. Uh, of course, the pearl onions and a bit of nutmeg. And not much, not much was done after I left you nope. in that, uh, you know, in, in the kitchen, right? Really you just, simple. Yeah, it was super simple. Yep. Go ahead. The yeah. apple and lemon zest uh, <gasps> stuffing. Uh, nice. Very aromatic, as you can smell. Because we oh. double the herbs, we put in the whole zest of a lemon, which I think is very important. That is beautiful. And then we have cranberries behind me. Nice. Okay. And again, these have the rosemary. They have that crazy vanilla flavor in there, too. I want to show them smell, this. I need to smell everything. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> it's real so good. time, too, eh? So um, <laughs> I want you to see this because we were talking about how it was going to turn out, and everybody likes cranberry sauce a little bit different. I like everything to be a little chunky, and that's the way you've done it. You want them to know that these are actually cranberries. I made this. Right? Yeah. There you go. You made it that. It doesn't have the shape of the can, like the, the gently you know, the shape It doesn't have the... <laughs> uh, and then I've got the beet salad with some wild rice and oh, a little kale good. in there. Right? And, of course, the carrots that we roasted off with the carrots and the mint and the mustard. I almost yeah. feel like we need to make way for, you know, yeah, you know perhaps oh, yeah. the, yeah, that the bird there. that might be coming and on the way. So let's move a few things out. Oh, yeah. You can actually give me some, if you need some room, there's room right here as well. Um, Am I matching this? I'm I think it's like actually it time for us to see the main attraction, and that would be the turkey reading with the turkey! table like this because it is a showstopper. It's a showstopper. You want to sit around, you want to take some pictures. This is yes. a great time for Instagram, <laughs> right? Everyone's going to take some pictures and pet it or the thing and then we're going to carve it open. And, and then we're going to carve it, yes. it open. So the carving is a whole other thing. I would love to know from your perspective, who does the carving in your family if you guys do a turkey? You're the carver? Sure. You're no. the carver? I see traditional gender roles happening right now. I don't carve anything. I just want to eat it. it. Because there's certain things you have to do for the light, the light meat, the dark meat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's putting in their orders. I think everyone takes a bit of everything, right? Well, kind of what yeah, goes on. you would hope so. Yeah. In my experience, people either choose well, white or dark. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't let them choose. <laughs> like, well, we just get, flatter it and yeah, I would go with it. Don't get picky. Kind of, I, just, uh, yeah. I just deep fried your turkey. So would you would you find, because you've done the turkey different ways on the show, What mm -hmm. do you like? how do you like doing it best? Because that's easy and that's fast. I like switching it up because you, you, you do. don't want the same every single year. I'm a big fan of the brine. Jason knows this and it makes him crazy, which I like even more. <laughs> what? Um, because the brine, it makes it so juicy and delicious. Yeah. And I mean, it's that first bite of the, oh, wow. But the deep fried turkey is a cool like avenue to go because yeah. everyone's surprised. Everyone's yeah. like, really? But then when they taste it, like, well, I'm going to go buy one of those things. That was really cool. Okay. And if, if time is, a, is an important issue, then the deep fryer is the way to go. Yeah. It, is a, it is the way to go. I mean, it seems so much easier. Back in the day, it was like seven hours of turkey yeah. in the oven, and yeah. it felt like a very big event. Okay, can we give it up for the chefs? <laughs>